What did you buy today from Louis Vuitton? A limited edition uh, bag. How much is it on the market? 6,000. And besides your full-time job, do you have any business? Yeah, I have podcast. I also work as a lecturer at a university. What do you do for a living? I'm cabin crew. Which airline company you work for? Emirates. Wow! How do you invest your money? I like cars. No. What car do you have? A Ferrari. Wow! Ferrari owner. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? Over 125. Talking about more than 1 million per year. And we are living, uh, no, how many? 20. 3, 30, 30 million, sorry, per year. Yeah. 30 million per year. Budget everything you do. As soon as the month passes, I see where I spend more, where I want to reduce next. The app name, how it goes? Money. Yo guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Another city, another episode. I'm gonna interview people who are a tourist or maybe local in Venice to ask what do they do for a living and different personal developments and financial answer from them. Let's go to interview them. Uh, your name, age, and where are you from? Dominic, 48, Colorado, USA. What do you do for a living? Manager for an industrial supply company. And how long are you in the industry? 23 years. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? Over 125. What's the starting salary in that position? 75,000. After how many years you can hit the six-figure income? It depends on experience. It depends on um, how long in that role. So I would say two to five years. So is it a profitable career? Yes. What's the best part of your job? Uh, working with my team. So as a manager, you always have a team and uh, that team it can be eight to 12 people. And I've always been drawn to those opportunities to manage and work with teams. How do you invest your money? I like to invest primarily in the stock market, in mutual funds, 401k. Some people don't want to invest in 401k, but they want to retire as soon as as possible what advice you would give to them save 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 live cheaply don't spend more than you make and invest in real estate diversify as they say have you ever been broke before broke yes, yes. how did you overcome it <laughs> good question I soak in the moment uncomfortable it is and try to prepare and plan and think about ways to ensure that I do not find myself in that position again. So if I need to change my lifestyle now, knowing the positive impact later, then I will make the steps and take the steps to do that. People in their early 20s and they are lost, they don't have any direction to follow and they don't know what to do, but they want to be a millionaire in the future. How they can be a millionaire in the future? Watch your channel and I would say other investment related shows and videos and instruction that exists online in books and ask elders what good decisions are and what bad decisions are and start very, very early. Save. Most of all, always try to keep in mind that the future is, it's hard to see it, but it is coming. So if you're ahead of it today, you'll be so much better off tomorrow. Great advice. And beside this financial part, uh, you came from the US to Venice for see. enjoying, yes? Pure enjoyment. For how long are you going to stay here? Only a few days in Venice. We were in Lake Como, Venice, and the Cinque Terre. How much money are you going to spend for the entire trip to Italy? My family is here with me, and so we have five people with flights, with everything everything for the trip seven to ten thousand at the end does money buy happiness absolutely not but uh, it is much more comfortable and enjoyable to not stress about finance and money than to have that weighing on you with everything else that life throws at you too thank you very much I appreciate it your time yes my pleasure hello your name age what do you do for a living? Emanuela, 35 years old, and me and my husband have some shops in Venice mm -hmm. and renting the shops. I make home restaurant because mm -hmm. I'm a cook, and you can see because of my a little bit fat. Come on. <laughs> and that's it, and we enjoy the life. Living in Venice is amazing. It's the most wonderful city. As a cook, you look delicious. Thank you. <laughs> 
How about you? You are also uh, a business partner with your wife. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I'm Jacopo, 51 years old. Okay, I'm business partner with my wife, but I'm a 3D printer mm -hmm. and I do something strange with 3D printer and uh, it's not properly work, uh, but, <laughs> but I like it. Okay. She right. looking for business and me to spend money. <laughs> She's finding a spot for opening new restaurants and you are financing absolutely. it. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. How did you find your husband? My mother was a friend of him. Okay. <laughs> and they were drinking Prosecco together. Uh, 15 years ago, I met this man that was more or less a guy and I said, Mom, all your friends are completely crazy. Please don't present me some someone like this. And after after 14 years we are still together and married and everything. He's spending money to you and you are diversifying your family wealth? Like Italian people do. Really? Wives are usually to manage the husbands. Wife manage husbands? Yes. Usually are husbands that are going to work and then the wives stay at home and clean. Uh, I am making a, more or less an husband and a wife all together with him. Okay. And uh, we are so... <laughs> are you happy with that? Absolutely, yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. You yes. do cleaning? No, never. What is no? this? Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never, okay. Being in your position as a business lady, how much can we make per year in Venice, beautiful city? Venice can give you a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to start with some money because okay. the waiter or uh, working in a restaurant as a cook uh, and you can make more money than other parts of Italy. It's simple because there are a lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about more than 1 million per year only in Venice and we are living uh, now how many 20 3 30 30, 30 million, million sorry per year yeah 30 million per yeah. year only in Venice and out of 30 million people, you make 2-3 million per year? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. Okay. Let's say that I came from Canada and I want to start a business here mm -hmm. as a restaurant owner. What should I do? First of all, good luck because <laughs> Italian bureaucracy is very complicated, unfortunately. So the best is, in my opinion, have a company maybe in Canada and then with your company buy the license in Venice. but. Uh, San Marco place is not only the square also now we are in San Marco mm -hmm. the licenses are numbered okay. so if you want to open a restaurant you have to buy the license to another bar another restaurant if not you can go in Castello in Dorsoduro or pay a lot with the license okay. in San Marco. first we have to get a license then it will be easier yes how yes. do you invest your money beside your own business no we didn't invest no no how long you are in the industry as a business owner I am not a restaurant owner I make in just home restaurant. When people wants to find the real Venetian and meet us, for example, okay. I can cook for them typical Venetian food mm -hmm. at home, and mm -hmm. he can speak uh, with this amazing English, mm -hmm. <laughs> the history of Venice and of mm -hmm. his family because he has a ancient, ancient, ancient family of Venice. You don't invest your money only spending. No, because in Italy everything, especially in Venice, everything is expensive. So to pay the electricity bills the gas bills the the the, bill. the what the trash Ah, yeah. right. Because we pay for 30 million of tourists oh. <laughs> that have a trash and they pay. Come on. <laughs> so people in their early 20s, what financial advice you would give to them? Have a good idea. Something new. Give any idea for us because you said that you have to have an idea. Give idea for our 20s. Uh, he is the man of ideas. Give okay. us. Give us. <laughs> give bro. You have a good camera, uh -huh. good uh, microphone. microphone. Tell the story of, of Venice. Uh, talking uh, with... Uh, with the old man, no, more old than me, <laughs> history, history man, and about all everything that happened here in the last 1,000 years. Mm -hmm. And, and many, many, many things was happening here. Thank you very much. Enjoy <laughs> your business and enjoy your day. We appreciate your time. When you have an Instagram or social yeah. media? Shout out your Instagram. Emanuela Nani Mocenigo. Great, thank you very much. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Anthony. I'm 40 and I'm from France. What do you do for a living? I'm working.
working uh, in a call center. And being in your position, how much can we make per year? I would say 39, 40 per mm -hmm. year. Is that enough for traveling to Venice? Yes, because it's not only my, my wage, it's also with my, with my wife. You split all the bills, all the expenses for coming to Venice and staying and eating and doing everything. You split the bill with your wife? Yes, absolutely. In your opinion, what keeps relationship longer? If you love the person that you met for the first time, if you marry her, don't marry someone if you're not sure. Very good answer. Yeah, boy, Mr. Curious. Hello. Uh, I want to ask a different question also. People want to start in the position doing what you do, what advice you would give to them? Like people, like helping people, care for each other, sharing is caring. How do you invest your money? With my bank, uh, mm -hmm. I open, open a livret. What was that? So this is something uh, to, to, to save your money with okay. the bank. This is a saving account? Yes, absolutely. Saving and account. beside that, you don't have any investment? No, we, 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 bought, uh, we bought a flat. That's the only investment that we have. At the end, how much money are you going to spend in your entire trip to Italy uh, or Venice? 500 euros. for the 500 per person? 50-50. For how many days are you going to stay? Four days. Will it be enough, 500 for four days? I think the <laughs> this is the second day, so I mm -hmm. think maybe it will be a, a 1,000. Then. Thank you very much. It Enjoy your trip. What's good? Yo guys, Venice Series is enough. Let's go to another city. Let's go! Yo guys, finally I arrived to Bari in Italy. I'm gonna interview people here also to know what do they do for a living. Let's go to interview them. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? Roberto. From Bari, 48 years old. What do you do for work? I work in a company, Magna Company. It's an international group. Uh, south of Italy, there's no the work. It's uh, difficult yeah, because uh, there's no many enterprise. But uh, I'm a lucky guy because I work 25 years. Is it your own company or you work for the company? Yeah, I work for the company. Great. And being in your position, how much can we make per year? 2,000 per month. Is it enough? to cover up your all expenses and yeah. live in your comfort zone. It's uh, never enough, but it's good. Yeah. How do you invest your money? My house, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, other investment in uh, other build, like um, shop build, invest in uh, mobile investment. What do you mean, like uh, online trading? Trading oh. online. Okay. Is it doing well? It's okay. It's, uh, it's And uh, at the moment, how many properties do you have? Just three. Is it generating you a passive income, like you are renting them? Yeah, it's okay. It's good. For it's people in their early 20s, what financial advice you would give to them? For young, uh, try to take a look around. When I go around with my dog, I check opportunity, everything, every time. When the people go inside in the shop, mm -hmm. when you look, uh, everything, there's an uh, opportunity. Believe in uh, what do you think. Thank you very much. Good luck on your career and life. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Maria Mora Marco. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Bari. What do you do for work? I do business. Which industry? Houses, real you estate. Are a developer or real estate company owner? Company owner. For how long you are into real estate? Two years. You are new in the company, yeah? Yeah, because um, I come from food industry. What made you to choose this real estate industry, changing from food industry? Because I closed my former industry and I decided to invest here in Bari. As an entrepreneur, also you build up different companies, you closed it or maybe you sold it. How you are managing this? No, I buildings and I sell houses. But being in your position as a real estate company owner, how much money can we make per year? Maybe the 25% of the investment, just to, to give an idea. I can give you a range. Is it seven figures? More than one million? Yeah, possibly one more. <laughs> okay, more than five million? No, no, no. In between one and four, five? Yes. That's what we are asking. How did you make from six figure to the seven figure? Thanks to a good investment, because if you buy good, you can do a good business. Let's say I am a real estate agent and I don't have any skills, I don't have experience. I'm joining to your company. Yeah. How can I be better than every day so that I can be a good real estate agent? I can sell, let's say, five, ten properties per year. To know the market, to have uh, good qualities uh, relating with people, to know a lot and knowledge of market. What did you buy today from Louis Vuitton? It's a present. For you? Yeah. Okay. What did you buy? A bag. This bag? No, or no? no. A limited edition uh, bag. Great. So how much is it on the market? Maybe 6,000. 6,000 you More bought less. for a bag? No, not me. It's yeah. a present from my Great. husband. Great. Does it work for your money buying designer bag? It's a good investment. 
investment mm -hmm. also this uh, this bag. <laughs> really? Yeah. How come? Yeah, because it's um, a limited edition. So mm -hmm. how do you spend your money beside buying Louis Vuitton back to your husband? How I spend my money in sport for my family. Uh, I like cars. You are buying Traveling supercars. He has supercars. <laughs> what <laughs> car you have? A Ferrari. <laughs> wow, Ferrari owner. How many Ferraris you have? Now one Ferrari and uh, one uh, Audi. Amazing. For people in their early twenties, they want to be a business owner, especially females. They are a bit in doubt. What advice you would give to them? They have to study and do a lot of experience, uh, especially abroad. Do you have education degree? Yeah. What did you study? Uh, economy. That's why you are good at finance, money? Yeah, I'm also for my experience. Great. Well, thank you very much, business owner. We really enjoy talking with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Kaspar. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, 52. What do you do for work? I'm a salesman selling uh, furniture for schools. Is it your own company? No, 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 no. For how long you are a sales rep? 25 years, and for a company where I work now for 10 years. So you have great selling skills, I guess. I hope. <laughs> What's the secret sauce of your selling? Good listen to your customers and the right products, attitude. Being in your position as a sales rep in a furniture manufacturing companies, how much can we make per year? A lot. <laughs> Is it six, seven figures? Six, I think so. And yeah. More than 100,000. Yeah, yeah. How do you invest your money? Especially in a, a lot of holidays. You don't invest your money? Yeah, not yet, no. Yeah, I tried a couple of years ago. Well, it was not a success. But what happened? 2008, bank crash, cost a lot of money. Since that time, uh, yeah, I invested in a house, we have our own house. For people in their early age, they want to start a career in sales industry. What advice you would give to them? Yeah, do your own thing. How you are, your attitude, use it. Can be and work hard. You can be successful. Having a sales skills, can we be a millionaire or no? Yes, there's no problem. And maybe you can start your own company of a couple of years. You yeah. didn't start your own company? No. You don't want no. to start? No, not anymore, no. I'm a uh, 15 uh, two uh, years now. I hope uh, about 10 years, 15 years to stop working, traveling uh, traveling uh, in Europe over the world. Great. Uh, that's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Enjoy your time. Hi, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, I'm Shazib. I'm 44. I'm from Germany, and uh, I'm on vacation here. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a consultant. In which industry? I used to be in the automotive industry, and now mm. I'm in generally. Uh, we're, we can consult SAP business in all industries in Germany. You are into finance? No, I'm into management. For how long you are working in that position? I just started in August. Ah, well done. And you are spending your time here for celebrating it? No, I actually knew before that I'm starting in August, mm -hmm. but the vacation was planned. So I talked to my new employer and uh, they were cool about it. You, you are giving consultancy only for people who want to set their business in Germany? Yeah, so we have global accounts, but uh, our business is focusing primarily on companies companies that are in Germany, uh, mid-sized companies that have SAP software or that want to have SAP software and we have consultants that actually implement it or renew it or update it. And besides your full-time job, do you have any business or side job? I have podcast and I also work as a lecturer at a university. You are a professor or? Uh, well, we don't call it that, but uh, I think in other countries you would say so, yeah. For people in their early age, they want to start their company, but there are a lot of things. They are doubting about it or they have procrastination. They don't start. What advice you would give to them? I've had this conversation multiple times with my wife and, and one thing to understand and to learn is that business is not for everyone. I think there are people who are very conscious of having a very regular income and people who do business, they have to be risk-friendly people who are okay with having phases where you have uh, difficulties financially, right? And uh, I'm a person like that. I like to have some continuity and that's why I know it's better for me to be employed. And the other thing is some people are really curious to work for themselves. I'm okay working in an organization where I report to someone. And I think these are the things that you have to consider. As you are working with different business owners, but what is the main thing you find out to them that they are not doing well or they are making a mistake in early entrepreneurship journey? Many business people are very much focused on running an organization with finance. But what I have learned from the US is that you have to be focused on solving a problem. And the other thing that I've observed is that you always have to think long term. So do not try to optimize a quarter only. Try to optimize, let's say, a two, three, 
three, four, five year goal. You cannot be stingy in small things. You should uh, spend money to have good software. You should spend money to hire good people. Have a good office, have good things. The mindset of the people will also be a little bit more positive and um, a little bit bigger, if that makes sense to you, a big mindset. Great, so being in your position, doing what you do, yeah. like with the three jobs, I would say, podcast and working in a university yeah. and also business consultancy, how much can we make per year? I think it's unlimited. If you're starting off from university, I think it's realistic to earn something between 50 and 70 thousand euros. I'm talking about Germany, right? Mm -hmm. And I think if you work hard and if you're lucky, I think luck also plays a really big role that is underestimated. You can make 200 thousand. I think that's fair. And obviously then when you get into managerial positions, you can make X fold. I would also recommend your users, your listeners and, and viewers, do not chase the money. I think you should find what you're good at. I think the money is always a compensation for risk taking. So if you're a big shot manager or if you're an entrepreneur, you do not just get the money. You also get a lot of pressure. You get a lot of responsibility and you also get a lot of risk. And the money that you get is a compensation for that. That's how I see it. As you talked about the mindset, people in their early 20s, they want to do something, but they are lost or they don't know how to manage their money. They don't know how to make money. What advice you would give to them as a personal development and financial advice? I think it's really important to understand the difference between consuming and investing. Let me give you an example of living. So if you buy your own flat and you live in that flat, your money is going away. But if you are buying your flat and renting it out, it's a business. So always think of being having business mind and invest your money into something long term. Also, I believe do not do too many things. If you want to be good at something, focus. Many people try multiple things at the same time. And I believe you should find out what you're good at. For example, are you good at storytelling? Are you good at calculating? Are you good at planning? Are you good at talking to people? I mean, you have to find it out. And in the initial 20s, I would say try out different things and, you know, get into different jobs and check what you like. And usually what you like is something you're good at. And at the end, how do you invest your money? I only have real estate. So I don't have any stocks. I don't have any gold or anything. I just have real estate. And the reason is very simple. I, I like to have peace of mind because real estate is a long-term investment. Mm -hmm. I've done some research and I invested very uh, early. At the moment, how many properties you are having? I choose to not share that, Thanks. but it's enough. Thank you very much for your great advice. And at the end, if people want to follow your podcast channel, yeah. please shout it out. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So my podcast is called with people dot for people dot. So it's a leadership podcast that I do with a friend of mine in Germany. Mm -hmm. So we advocate for modern human centric leadership and that's what the podcast is about thank you very much i appreciate your time yeah, it was you. great to talk to you guys let's fly to another city from bali we are done follow me yo guys as you see finally we arrived to another city i'm gonna interview people here to see what do they do for a living let's go to discover city also ask questions i'm sure you are enjoying with this episode also if you want me to make it in another city comment below which city you want to hear from people i will make it possible just because of you are a sponsor of this video let's go hello your name age and where are you from my name is daniela i'm 30 and i'm from brazil what do you do for a living i'm cabin crew uh, you live in italy i live in dubai so what are doing in Pisa? I have two friends from Brazil visiting the city so I just came to see them for three days. For how long you are working as a cabin crew? It's been a year and a half. How did you start with that job? I was looking for a way to leave Brazil, mm -hmm. <laughs> enjoy the world <laughs> and yeah I just saw some people doing it. But before that what were you doing? I was working in a school in Brazil. And which airline company you work for? Emirates. Wow, that's great. It's the first time I'm interviewing Emirates uh, cabin crew. A lot of people want to join for that company. What should they know and what should they do in order to join that company? They're very specific with what they want. It's not as hard as long as you have what they need, which is some specification even with tattoo. For example, we cannot have showing tattoos. Being willing to live in Dubai, travel the world, wow. <laughs> speak English, and that's all. That's great. So being in your position, how much can we make per year? Per year. Or per month, you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's per month. It's 10 to 12,000 dirhams per month. Uh, you are a newbie and you are still making 10k per month. But if they are in, let's say, the 10 years in that job, how much they make or what's the top they can make? Uh, as cabin crew, you can become a purser, which is the leader of the flight. Mm -hmm. And you have more benefits with it as well. It's a little higher. I don't know exactly how much, but we have our living allowance, so I don't pay for my accommodation. I only pay for internet and groceries, but the rest, they, it's all paid. And for purses, for example, they even have school paid for their kids. They have 
more benefits. They fly business when they have to fly. How you are investing your money? Traveling. <laughs> investing myself, this experience, for now at least. So you are investing in Brazil for what? Buy a house. How many houses you have at the moment? Uh, one in progress. <laughs> in progress? What do you yeah. mean? <laughs> I'm buying it. Oh, okay. You are in the process for buying a new yeah, one. Yeah. New one or the first one? It's the first one. You said that I'm investing for my like, traveling and for the experience. What experience you are learning by traveling? Well, especially being on the plane, like we see a lot of difference between the cultures, how we interact with each other, and then being able to be places that we never thought of. Because, of course, like Italy, we come to visit most, like, like my Brazilian friends, for example. But then I go to so many places in Asia that I wouldn't go. And then food, it's what I like the most. For any financial and personal development advice for our community? I think I was lucky enough to find something that combined what I like doing to something that provides me that lifestyle. So I think that's the most important because if you try too hard with something you don't like doing, I don't think it takes you anywhere. So I've always tried just to actually do something that I enjoy daily, so I'm still figuring it out too. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time and answers. Great okay. advice. Good luck. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Shalini. I'm 24 years old and I'm from India. Uh, Simon, 27, and I'm from Italy. And what do you do for work? I'm a firmware and embedded software engineer. For how long you are working in that position? A one and a half year. It's not your own company? No. Okay. What about you? I'm a marketing manager for a company that does uh, 3D renderings and uh, overall modeling. You both work in Italy? Yes. Okay. Which city? Padova. For being in your position as a software engineer, how much can we make per year? Well, right now I'm a part-time worker, so it's around half that amount. And the max they can pay you is 800. If you're full-time, around 1200 or 1300 as a beginner. And then it depends on how many years of experience you have. Uh, you have one, one and a half year experience, yeah? Yes, but still part-time, so only part-time amount. But the rest of your time, what do you do? Uh, I study. I'm finishing up my degree, mm -hmm. my master's degree in the University of Padova. Why you want to study another degree while working? Uh, I started it while in the mid of my degree, mm -hmm. so I want to finish it up. Is it important? Yes. Why? Because if you have a master's, you earn more. Right, just yes. because of making more money, yeah? Yes. How about you? In your position, how much can we make? Because you are in the manager level. Uh, around 50, 60k per year. Depends on your bonuses and everything. Because uh, as a manager, you get paid a fixed amount plus bonuses according to goals. So. Are you happy doing what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Company's young. We're developing. We're growing. Chill environment all over all. It's not like a big corporate environment where you have to, you know, have a dress code. Uh, in our company, we are about to. We can set our own times and everything. So it's amazing. How do you invest your money? Right now, it's difficult to just spend what I have as a student. But once I do, I'd like to spend it in index funds. Why index funds? You want to invest your money? I don't know too much about it, but from what I did, it seems like a good way to invest your money for long term, like once for ten years, once for. 25, another for retirement and whatnot. But if you don't know how it works, why you want to invest on it? Why not? Because if you don't invest, your money stays the same. If you invest, there's a chance that it might become more. How about you? How do you invest your money? Uh, I have around 70% investments on uh, developing countries and uh, funds that incorporate a lot of the developing countries like Indonesia, India, BRICS countries. How do you invest your money on those countries? Like uh, you are buying properties there or what? No, no, no. Like the big index funds mm -hmm. of the of the countries. But in, in Italy, you have any properties you invested or no? No, no. I have property I have is my house and everything, but I don't have many investments. Maybe mm -hmm. in the future, I will see. So the number one secret for marketing that mm -hmm. we don't know or many people don't know because they are suffering a lot for growing their channels or social medias, what should they do? Uh, learn psychology, learn uh, how humans' instincts work, learn about mindset of why a customer makes a purchasing decisions. Once you learn that, you learn copywriting, you learn all the marketing tactics to make it work. That's the foundation. So give us financial and personal development advice for our community. Don't take life too seriously, I guess. Well, for example, if you don't like something, try it at least once before giving up. That's it. <laughs> Financial advice? Financial advice, budget everything you do. What do you mean? Well, for example, personally, I like doing this. Uh, I have this app called Money Manager on Play Store. And what I do every month, whatever I spend, I make different categories and I budget everything. As soon as the month passes, I see where I spend more, mm -hmm. where I want to reduce next. So even if you have just, let's say, 200 euros every month with you, you know where you spent it, where you need to cut down. That's the only way to survive as a student, in my opinion. And it calls money management app or 
no, what? it's free. Money manager. It's with a uh-huh. big icon, mm-hmm. red and white. It's incredible. Okay. Yes. Take a note. And you, personal development and financial advice for people. Mm. Improve yourself every single day, whether it's training, whether it's uh, learning something new. Especially if you're young, you have nothing to lose, so you only have uh, room for growth. If you're 17, 18, start learning a skill, develop it, get passionate about it, and let the right to your goals. Thank you very much. Enjoy your you. time. It was great to talk yeah. to you. Yeah, guys, I'm sure you are still watching this video, and I'm sure you enjoyed with this episode also. Comment below which city, which interview you liked most. Also, if you want me to make it another city or another country, comment below which country you want to see me there. As always, you are the sponsor of today's video. I see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye. <laughs>